Alright, so I'm just finishing getting dressed and I gotta get out of here because today is day two, my friends. Now, today is where the classes really get started. Some of the other creators start showing up. We'll see who I get to meet today. That's what I'm really excited about is who am I gonna meet and what am I gonna learn because they're offering classes that teach you stuff. How to grow your channel, how to make better videos, and that's what really VidCon is all about. I know you get to meet a lot of different creators and that's definitely part of VidCon, but the other part is learning. You know, you come all the way out here, you gotta tap into these creators who have been doing this for a very long time. They know how to grow the channel, some of them know how to grow it really fast, they know the keys to it. So the whole part about being at VidCon is meeting the creators, tapping into their creativity, tapping into their knowledge. That's why they do a lot of panels. You can do question and answer sessions and you get to learn so that you can take a lot of that information back with you and incorporate them into your own channel so you can grow your channel. A lot of the creators, they have meet and greets, they have panel discussions, they have workshops, they have all kinds of activities and so I'm looking forward to going today and being part of those activities and just learning. So I'm gonna go grab some coffee first because I need coffee! I need coffee and maybe a little bit of food but coffee first and then head to the first workshop and see what's going on. Of course, as usual, I'm going to take you guys with me every step of the way and maybe we'll all get to see somebody famous. Alright, so it's a little gloomy out today, but you know what I find? I find that most LA days start out this way and then as the day goes on, they get brighter, they get sunnier. Alright, I did my best to go get the free breakfast that they were offering at the hotel. But I walked into that place and for some reason it just smelled like wet dog. Wow, I had no idea breakfast was gonna come this big. Look at this. Do you saw it? was just I'm definitely not gonna eat all of that, but I'll do my best. This isn't the coffee I wanted. I wanted Starbucks, but sometimes you have to deal with what you got. So let's give it a shot and see how it tastes. Love that. So cute. Yeah. So, one of our favorite things about you is that you show Nerdy Nummies. It is so great. Who likes Nerdy Nummies, you guys? <laughs> um, what is your number one nerdy thing that you geek out over? Number, number one? I have to pick one? Well, let, we could do like three. You could pick like your top three. How about that? I would say sp space. <laughs> That's very broad. It's very broad. It's very broad. It's very general. But one of the general things that I geek out about, space. So this morning's coffee wasn't cutting it, but look what I found. So what did I tell you? The days start out gloomy, but as the smog dissipates, the day gets gorgeous. Look, it's a beautiful day. So this one YouTuber that was there must have been a very famous one. I don't know his name, but he got absolutely mobbed, crushed. They were coming in from every angle. and he couldn't walk anywhere. He was putting his hands up, he was trying to point to where he needed to go, and just the crowd was relentless. The girls were screaming. I was like, who is that guy? So finally he makes his way around. They're screaming all the way behind him, following him, just making an absolute scene of the over the whole thing. I was like, oh my God, is that what it's like? I want that. 
that would be cool. This last panel was probably the most interesting of the entire day. The reason is they were talking about clickbait. I mean, I, I feel like for sure, I, I mean, I know personally, um, pranksters who like, for sure do, you know, fake pranks that, um, that will put them in a position where they can have like a sex thrill in thumbnail. Basically they were saying if you're going to create a clickbait title, make sure that it has a, a, that at least it has something to do with the video itself. So that when they go in there is some type of tie between the, the title of the video and the video itself and the content. The other thing is to make sure that it has quality content, that you're putting something quality out and you're not just putting together garbage and sending it out. There's a lot of competition on YouTube these days and they want to know that when they click into a video it's quality content and they're getting something that they're that was worth clicking into and worth watching and so you want to make sure that if you're going to use a clickbait title and you're going to draw the audience in via the clickbait title. You want to have something that's of quality that they will enjoy watching. So you bring them in and then give them something for it. Don't just bring them in and then have a stupid video or some kind of video that has no value to it of, of any sort. That's what I learned. Clickbait. I learned how to clickbait properly. So. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching another video on VidCon. I think today's day two, there's only two days left, so sad. It goes really fast, actually. You go from class to class and uh, you're surprised at how quickly the days go by. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you at the next episode.